Hey guys, so for today's video, we're just going to do Q and A's and then tomorrow we will get back to story time. Um, one of the questions I got asked twice was um, if our families were supportive at how fast our relationship went. Um, and the answer to that is at the beginning, they were skeptical, um, but they were still supportive. Like nobody ever said that like we were like, making a wrong decision or anything like that. They were like, as long as you're happy, but like you could tell that they were skeptical. Um, but it wasn't until like they saw like how we were together, saw how in love we were, saw our smiles, like then they were like, okay, like when you know, you know, and like, so, I mean, they were always supportive and they were skeptical at first, but after they saw it, it, I mean, you couldn't deny it to anyone how in love we were. Like, there's no denying it. Like, everybody could just see, like, the change in my face and in hers and our attitudes and everything. Just, like, being loved properly. It does that to people. Um, there was also another question about how me and Hannah met, which doesn't have to do with this um, series at all. But, um... Me and Hannah have been best friends for 14 years. We met through mutual friends in high school. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And also, people wanted to see my row wall. So, we're going to take a walk right over here. So, this is a little ornament that a follower made me. This is a little sign that a follower made me. Dog tag. It's a note she wrote me when I had to work on Thanksgiving. Um, that is a painting from a follower row strong hat um this is a bunch of her stuff plus a little penguin from one of my friends um and like little knickknacks um as well as her license plate her rolling tray smile for row bracelets her suspenders some, like little trinkets oh, knocking stuff off um this is a little candle that a follower sent me here's her ashes um this is all stuff that was hers or in her car um this is a note that she kept that i uh wrote for her and put in her car the day of her interview for her um dream job um her apple watch like a bunch of her stuff her glasses her name tag from her dream job um this is all stuff that she had and like little things. This is a tapestry that a follower sent me of a bunch of pictures of us. More ornaments. That was her first merch shirt, her first merch line, I should say. It did say Row Vibes, but she ended up just wanting it to say Rose, so she peeled off the vibes. This was one of her ties. Um, little sign that a follower sent me someone made me this um my friend Rosie had a penguin adopted a penguin because Ro was obsessed with penguins um named it Ro so that is my penguin Ro and her babies more things that were made more pictures of the penguin this is from our friend Kylie that lives in Australia because she always used to say that Ro was an honorary Aussie um, a shadow box that someone made me. Let's see. Can I turn it on? Where's the button? So it lights up. These are her hats. Some more artwork. My friend Rachel painted me this. And someone um, designed this and I had it printed out. This is a picture that her family had printed out for me. Um, this is my favorite picture of her. It was the first day that we spent a day in the town that I worked. And she, like, loved it because it was right by the ocean. This was made for me out of her funeral flowers, um, some of them. We've got a cross that someone made me. I've got her watch, um, a rose that someone sent me. It's a rose in a bubble. It's a preserved glitter rose, actually. There's a puzzle over there that I haven't put together, um, a Steelers warmer, and then this cute little bubble thing. Um, so up here, we have the collection of penguins. 
because like I said, she was obsessed. And then we have some little rocks that people made for her as well. Um, so that is the memory wall. Oh, up here is all of the notes that we wrote back and forth and left for each other. Um, so yeah, that's the memory wall that I have. Um, Right now, I am gonna rearrange it and whatnot when I redo my room, but that is how it has looked since it's been put up. So if you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments, um, and I will be continuing with story time tomorrow.